kind of differences that I would see from a specific FANA controller to another FANA controller. It's, uh, it's very, very user friendly. I'm going to actually go so far as to say it was a seamless transition from FANUC to the MITS controller with the way Kitamura set it up for us. 140,000 square feet and growing. That's right, we are at ATM today, American Tool and Mold, and I'm with my buddy Steve. I always claim that I'm of Viking descent, but if you see this beard, he might be truly the one of Viking descent. If not, I'm just envious of the beard itself. <laughs> but this today is not about the beard, although I could talk about that. It's about this beautiful Bridge 12 we're looking at from Kitamura and what it's able to do for you here, Steve, at ATM or at the moment or all the machines, right? It's a really cool place we have here. So let's dive into really quickly this machine and start with the precision that it gives you because it's in the name. You're talking about tools and molds and we need accuracy. How does Kitamura support that? Well, Tony, it really does and it says it right there. Uh, machining challenge is simplified. Our challenge was getting enough room to, to handle the kind of mold base, mold base plates that we were uh, doing as a company. And like you said, accuracy, accuracy is huge. Uh, the Kitamura, they're a very accurate machine, but what's more over than that is they were willing to put it in writing. I believe that they're hold, the, the, the paperwork on the machine said that they were holding positional accuracy and repeatability within 70 millions. You know, I uh, talk in inches. I know uh, microns is, a, is, a, is the way to talk, but I talk in, in inches and 70 millions is less than a tenth, less than three quarters of a tenth. Uh, of accuracy on this machine. So across the full 10 feet of the table space, 10 feet by almost six feet, it's pretty huge. That's incredible, Steve. When you think about it, you know, I hear a lot of people say we can do something, right? But to have it on paper saying, not only will we say it, we will prove it to you and have it in writing, that's significant. Now, when it comes to precision, can we just for a moment focus on how important that is in tool and mold industry? Tony, it's huge. It's absolutely uh, essential with uh, the kind of work that we do here at American Tool and Mold. So we're making high cavitation molds, but we're making them to run exceeding numbers of cycles. Some of our customers are expecting 5 million cycles on a 16 cavity tool. That's a lot of plastic pieces before they're expecting to do really any serious maintenance to that tool. So it's, it's, it's dire. It's essential to be able to put um, features in on that kind of accuracy. Our engineers design all of our molds, leader pins back to insert pockets, back to locks within a couple of tents. Uh, and on the Kitamura, it makes it possible for us to do that kind of stuff. You know, see what I find fascinating as I walk around this beautiful facility, it's been around for decades at this point, and we're lucky for me in South Florida where I love to be. So thank you for that. I appreciate you being here in South Florida. It, and not the whole world thinks of South Florida when it comes to tool and mold. We think of vacation. We think right. of summer. We think of maybe not surfing on this coast, but we think of really enjoying ourselves. But you have a shop here. And not only do you have a shop where you're machining these high accuracy parts, but you're doing everything or almost everything in house. So when it comes to understanding what the precision's for, when it comes to understanding how the injection moldings work, within this facility of over 140,000 square feet, you're doing everything here, aren't you? Yes, sir, we are. And you, you, know, you really hit on it. Um, it's important to us to have that kind of control in our facility. So the way we run a mold is we put a lead man, a very experienced mold maker who's been doing this for decades and longer, you know, in charge of a mold. And he likes to have control of that. That molds his baby until it's put in a press and making plastic parts. And he likes to have control over every aspect of that mold. And being able to give him that in-house, to be able to, in real time, take a look at what we're doing and, uh, you know, be, have him that kind of confidence that he can see, you know, the, the features going in. It's, it, you know, it's, it's, it really helps. It helps to have it in-house. And we do it all here. So we'll, a lot of companies, um, don't do their mold bases. Believe it or not, molding is very big in this in the Tampa Bay area, Pinellas and Pasco County. It's very big. Right. I think it's very important because I think of hard material and I think of long cycle times to also have a very accurate machine spindle because how many times are we going through cutting tools if it's not perfect, if it's not balanced, if it's not ready to go? So how does that work for you as well? Absolutely, Tony. So this one, this machine does have a 12,000 RPM spindle. And like you said, the rigidity of the machine, the bridge, the bridge construction, you know, all that factors into the tool life. Like you said, if I put this on a, you know, 
a, a smaller, less robust machine, the tool life would be, you know, extremely different. And because we have the, the tight tolerances, the, the, the real nice tight tolerance spindle, uh, four speed spindle, it makes, uh, it makes our lives here at American Tool Mold so much easier than, you know, dealing with things on older antiquated equipment. So we can do the other things we love, like fishing and riding our motorcycles, oh, right? Oh, Sebastian in, let get a little surfing in. <laughs> there we go. So the next thing I want to segue into, Steve, is as I look around this beautiful facility, it looks like maybe traditionally you guys have kind of been a fanic house when it comes to the machines around the floor. And I look at the Kitamura here, and it's not. However, you were able to adapt pretty easily. Would you mind describing why? Yes, sir. Um, Kitamura did an incredible job with the Mitsubishi controller, the aromatic controller, and their overlay. So they knew that there were guys like me out there in the world that were old FANUC users that loved the FANUC controller and loved the features. And, and, you know, we get scared, old dogs, new tricks, all that kind of stuff. So what they did with the controller is they made it incredibly easy. If, you, if I didn't tell you it was a MITS controller with a Kitamura overlay, you would swear that you were looking at a FANUC controller. There's very minute differences in some M and G codes, but the kind of differences that I would see from a specific FANUC controller to another FANUC controller, it's uh, it's very, very user-friendly. I'm gonna actually go so far as to say it was a seamless transition from FANUC to the MITS controller with the way Kitamura set it up for us. Seamless is powerful because how many times have we been into a shop and gosh, I'm gonna use the word and I don't want to, but I'm gonna anyway, we see what's been kind of industry demonized as the bastard machine. And I say it that way because it could be the greatest machine on the planet, but if a, a bunch of workers, colleagues, coworkers, machinists are very used to this machine, which is lined up with this machine and this machine, the one machine, even if it's elite, sometimes sits by itself because it's just not a friendly interface that someone's used to using, right? So that seamless integration is very, very important. Absolutely, Tony. And truth be told, you know, this is a, a bigger topic in today's workforce than it was in years past. So the pool that we're drawing from today as employers, as uh, companies, is unfortunately it's shrinking. I'm sure you see it, you're out there a lot from company to company, and I'm sure you hear it a lot that the single biggest asset that we have as employers are our machinists, are our employees. And I can't, re I can't emphasize that enough. And you know, the truth is, is that we having those machines that are more difficult or you know, less uh, common makes it even harder to find those people to come in. I had an incredible uh, nine axis mill turn that was just an incredible machine. It's, a, it's an engineering feat, but if you can't find somebody to come in and make that machine work for you, then it's useless. So it's a big payment and without the right talent to be able to, to make it make it work, it's 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 no good to anybody. So we don't have that problem with a Kitamura. You know, I can, you know, 90% of the people that I bring in off the streets are all FANUC machinists. They've all been working with FANUCs for their entire careers. And the Mitsubishi controller with the, with the Kitamura overlay, the aromatic overlay is Again, seamless. Last question for you, because it's a beautiful day outside here in Florida. We love the weather here. Maybe go do some fishing, whatever it might be. But as I look around this shop and knowing you guys have been in business since 1978, I also might assume, and we know what assuming does, so I apologize to the audience for that, but I would assume that service and support is of the utmost importance to you here. And knowing that we have a good friend, a guy named Todd, you and I have spoken about what he has brought to the table to really support you here at ATM. Would you mind describing two things? One, what Todd's done for you, and two, but maybe in reverse, two, how important service and support is. Absolutely, Tony. Well, you hit the nail on the head. I mean, that's one of the biggest things that I consider when I'm getting ready to purchase new capital equipment is service. So we have unfortunately had some bad experiences with some very large machine tool manufacturers in the past as far as getting, you know, like you said, Florida, not necessarily, it's not Chicago, it's not Detroit, it's not even, you know, Phoenix, Arizona or Seattle. There's not the, the industry that some of the bigger cities have, but we do have a lot of industries. Sometimes it's really hard getting service down here. I don't know why. It's beautiful, like you said, it's not right? Florida, right? <laughs> but uh, sometimes it is difficult. That's one thing that we did not even have to consider when we decided to go with Kitamura machine tools. 
and Campat, which is the reseller for, for Kitamora here in, uh, in Florida. You know, we have been supported around the clock. We get cold calls just to stop in to see how everything's going. If there's ever a question about applications or about getting something tweaked in just the way we need it specifically at American Tool and Mold, like you said, our friend Todd Lindemann at Campat is always there to answer our calls. And if he needs support from, from Kitamora or outside of the, you know, outside of the area, again, it's, it's a non-issue. It's a, you know, it happens, first of all, it's such a great product. We very rarely have to have it serviced, but when we do have to have it serviced, we have somebody here immediately, so. Nicely done, sir. Now I'm gonna find out just how good Todd is. I'm just gonna scream into the air and see if he pops up. Todd, where Todd. are you? Service and support, where Todd. are you? See, if I need him, it's literally like that. So and he's right here he's already. Right there. He's right there How already. you doing, Tony? <laughs> Living a dream. He was not prepared for that. However, that's how good the service and support is. And we kind of wanted to showcase that. Also, Todd kind of challenged us. So we have to end this whole conversation with a song. Should we sing that oh, song? Oh, I don't know about all that. We're, we're going to do the Eagles, but we're not going to do that live on camera. We'll do that off camera there we go. in there the we karaoke go. room. Thank you all for watching. This is ATM, founded in 1978. This is my buddy Todd. This is my buddy Steve. And this this is Kid Amira.